Well, the free speech movement was, in fact, a, a kind of condensation and an articulation of a whole lot of things that were important in American society at the time and weren't just uh, as, uh, common to Berkeley, but were, in fact, national phenomena. Berkeley took the lead in expressing that mood, in expressing the, ideal, the ideals of the civil rights movement in, in a civil libertarian movement extending to university campuses. That was what was special about Berkeley in the, in the early 60s. What happened in the 60s is that a lot of perfectly ordinary American students became convinced that the war was an evil thing and that they had to protest against the war. They did not become professional revolutionaries. Now, with the end of those issues, with the end of the war as an issue, and with, with the fading of civil rights as a major issue in the United States, there are no more causes left. The, the kind of cause that turned the students on is gone. There's still, a, a, there's still cadres of, uh, of revolutionaries and Marxists. What they lack is the kind of army that they had in the 60s. And those were times when middle class students felt perfectly secure about their professional future, and they had the leisure and the luxury of, of protesting and showing moral mm -hmm. outrage. Now, if people are now worried about getting a job and unemployment and the general economic situation in the country and in the world at large, then they got to focus on their books. They just don't have so much time mm -hmm. for worrying about public affairs as they have mm -hmm. to spend on their own private uh, development, economically mm -hmm. and otherwise. I think you can say there's just a whole lot less student activism now than there was. I mean, most students, for a variety of reasons, not just the, the absence of the, of the terrific issues, but another important feature is these are bad economic times. Mm -hmm.